Hello and welcome to Russ Plays Games. My name is Russ. And as you can see, um, we are about to play an interesting CD-ROM game. Um, this is a game that I haven't played that much, um, but it is now probably one of my absolute favorite games. Um, this game has a, a very interesting um, dynamic to it. And uh, in that, you basically um, play through sort of the events of the original book, Dune. And also, there's like some of the 1984 David Lynch movie in this, um, which you'll see in certain characters um, as they go. Um, I'm going to turn this up just a tiny bit because the intro here is going to play. The beginning is a very delicate time. Know then that it is the year 10,191. The known universe is ruled by the Padishah Emperor Shaddam IV my father. In this time, the most precious substance in the universe is the spice melange. The spice extends life. The spice expands consciousness. The spice is vital to space travel. The spacing guild and its navigators, who the spice has mutated over 4,000 years, use the orange spice gas which gives them the ability to fold space that is travel to any part of the universe without moving oh yes i forgot to tell you the spice exists on only one planet in the entire universe a desolate dry planet with vast deserts Hidden away within the rocks of these deserts are a people known as the Fremen, who have long held a prophecy that a man would come, a messiah, who would lead them to true freedom. The planet is Arrakis, also known as Dune. That was the original opening to the 1984 film. That was Virginia Madsen playing Princess Eberlon right there. Um, we will go ahead and drop this down just a tiny bit. Um, so basically, yeah, this... Um, this... Uh, um, this game uh, was created by Cryo Entertainment, um, published by Virgin Interactive, and... Um, it's kind of an interesting oddity in the Dune universe, as it was actually done concurrently with Westwood Studios' Dune 2, Battle for Arrakis. Um, and as you can see, like, the, the graphics on this game are really well done. Um, this is like when you're flying over the uh, deserts and you're you know, doing certain things. This is your palace, by the way. That was an ornithopter. We've spotted three troops of Fremen around the palace, and I've sent Gurney Halleck to meet them. He's not returned yet. Go there and see what's keeping Gurney. Paul, I have 
a deep feeling that being here on Doom with these Fremen will reveal something to you. Something you can't even imagine. Looks familiar. <laughs> Jessica, um, Paul, and you'll see Fade Roth uh, actually look like their movie counterparts. The rest of the people don't really look like what they look like in the movies. I guess you could say Shawnee kind of looks like Sean Young. Um, a little bit, but not that much. Sean Young has a very, very distinctive face. There's a Fremen siege. There's Paul is the one that the Fremen were waiting for. The legend comes true. Paul Atreides, the famous Muad'Dib. We'll meet him a little later. We must rally other Fremen troops, so we have to stand him. some chance of defeating our Harkonnen enemies. Young pup! How dare you come here! It's very much I'm like Sting. going to kill you! <laughs> if you don't believe, I'm going to destroy you! There's Baron Harkonnen. And there's the, uh... There's battle sequences. We'll see those a little later in the LP. Not right now. We're way too underleveled for that. <laughs> and I will say that the graphics for this game are really good for kind of being like early to mid-90s PC. currently playing this game because, um, well, Dune Part 2 came out, and I'm going to be doing a review on it, um, and I thought, eh, might as well go ahead and throw this game on and start playing it, because it is kind of a fun game. Um, I really enjoy it. So now, what we're going to do is, is we're going to watch a little introduction here, play, In these times of the future, man has explored many worlds, traveling through space by the use of the spice. Spice is the most precious substance. It can be found only on one planet in the whole universe. That planet is Arrakis, better known as Dune. It's a dry, desolate planet with vast deserts. There's never a drop of rain on Dune. You are Paul Atreides, son of Duke Leto Atreides. So, they they base the likeness of Paul here on Kyle MacLachlan from the original 1984 Dune. Um, the time this was produced. They were not sure, Cryo was not sure if they were going to be able to do things. The Harkonnens, long-time enemies of your family, have come on Dune to control the spice production in their brutal way. So you can see the Baron Harkonnen looks nothing like Kenneth McMillan. <laughs> but the Emperor of the Universe has just allowed you and the Atreides family to go on Dune too.
you are determined to use this opportunity to drive the Harkonnens out of Dune with the help of the few natives, the Freemen. The story begins as you've just arrived on Dune, in an empty palace located at a safe distance from the Harkonnen fortresses. So yeah, they they wanted to kind of blend elements from the books and or from the book, the original book, and elements from um, the uh, um, elements of the books plus elements of like the movie. Okay, so like some things you'll recognize from the movie, some things you'll recognize from the book. Other parts are going to look completely different. I am the Duke Leto Atreides, your father. My son, we must mine the spice as soon as possible, or the Emperor will recall us from doom. We've spotted three troops of Fremen around the palace, and I've sent Gurney Halleck to meet them. He's not returned yet. Go there and see what's keeping Gurney. Okay. And if you talk to him, he just says the same thing again. Um, if you come into this bedroom area here, um, you can look in the mirror, and once again, they use the likeness of Kyle MacLachlan, okay, um, from the 1984 film, because at the time, they had actually gotten the license to produce a Dune game back in the 1980s, but apparently Cryo couldn't get the game off the ground. There was some things going on, there was some stuff that happened, there were some other things that were going on, and, and so people were, you know, kind of looking at things. I'm your mother, Jessica. The Duke has sent Gurney Halleck to Carthag Tuic. Go outside, take an awning, and fly there. Hurry up, my son. I sense danger. And you'll notice that Jessica there looks a lot like Francesca Annis, who played Jessica in the 1984 game film. Okay. We really can't do anything else in the palace right now. Um, you can see that we can go up there. Um, over here, um, you can see that there is an orny, an orny, as they call it, or an ornithopter here. Okay, this is like a little um, balcony that overlooks the dunes, the vast desert out there. Um, <clears throat> and then, of course, you have some troops in the background. These troops do nothing. They literally just stand there the whole game. Um, and then, yeah, you can see some troops here. Um, so this, this area will become a little important a little later, um, as we play. So here's an ornithopter, okay, and she said Carthag to it. So we have three, this is what the Duke meant by three troops of Fremen around the palace. So there's one here at Carthag Hard, there's one here at, um, Carthag Timon, and there's one here at Carthag to it. And Jessica told us to go to Carthag to it, because Carthag to it is where, um, is where Gurney Halleck was. Now, if you've seen the 1984 Dune film, you'll know who um, Gurney Halleck was played by. I'm Patrick Gurney Stewart. Halleck. I've served the Atreides for a long time. And, and you'll notice that Gurney absolutely does not look like Patrick Stewart. I've just come into contact with the Fremen. The Fremen have always lived in the sands of Dune. They live in sieges so well hidden that no one knows exactly how many there are. And you'll notice that he does actually have the little scar on his face. I've tried to convince them to work for us. You try, Paul. They may trust you. Okay, Paul, I'm going with you. And this is how you can get people to come with you. Um, and, like, I can talk to him again. I've just come um, to contact with And he Fremen. basically just kind of stays, the says the I've same tried thing. tried to convince them. Okay, and then if we talk to the Fremen guy. We've heard of you. You are the son of the Atreides Duke, and of Jessica, the... Could he be the one? Yes, I agree to let my troops work for you. Okay. And so we know now that we need to get... We are awaiting um, ...some uh, spice we going. We're very used to spice mining. We'll okay. To learn. And so... We will give no more orders. Now, if we talk to this guy We're again... Doing spice mining. Okay. He, he just says, my troop is settled in Carthage to it. We've been doing spice mining for a very short time. Let me show you the statistics. He has 1,900 men in his in his Fremen troop. 
the motivation here, okay, goes up and down depending on certain things. There are certain factors. Um, how well they are at their job, what they're doing, um, if you're there, how often you contact them, stuff like that. Motivation can go up and down. On trial means that they're brand spanking new in Spice, okay? And there's like on trial, then there's novice, then there's average, then there's efficient, and then there's expert, I think. There might be one or more in there. Let me show you what our production level is. Okay. Will be. So he's saying that they're going to be producing about three kilograms of spice per hour. Okay. And we'll get a little map a little bit later on. <laughs> which kind of talks about It's that a new stuff. job for us. We should improve with some experience. And they will. And and, and that's the that's the neat thing. The more they do a certain job, the better they get, okay? Um, now, a little bit later on, because Gurney, Duncan Idaho was the teacher of Paul in terms of swordplay. Gurney was a war master. He was the one that actually like trained and like led the Atreides troops in the book. So Gurney is going to be actually um, very vital in a little while um, when we finally start wanting to train some troops in army. Okay. And so now that we have them working for us, we're so going to go to Carthag Timid. Timid. <sighs> I love this song. The music in this game is so good. It fits very well. I can feel something in you, but I wonder if you will be able to penetrate the secrets of this planet. Um, so, basically, like... I can feel... I'm not quite sure that you're able to appreciate our skills yet. So we can't use these guys just yet, but we will in a minute, okay? So, we wanted to go there to talk with them because... We're going to come back there in a little bit, okay? In fact, there's a couple things that we need to do first, okay? This is another thing that's really cool is that you can actually do it. We saw you coming from the other siege. Um, you can actually, like, skip to your destination so you don't have to watch the animation play out all the time. Uh, yes, I agree to let my troops work. Okay, so when we give orders to we troops, we can select two troops occupations. We also have this um, ecology down here. We will not be getting into that until way later in the game. Okay. Now, remember, if you've ever if you've ever read the book Dune, right? What was Liet Kynes trying to do? This is just a rhetorical question. Okay, if you've ever seen it before. Okay. He was trying to terraform the planet, right? He wanted to create a paradise of Dune, right? And that was kind of the whole crux of part of it was that there was this there's this planetologist who is using the Fremen to try to terraform the planet. We know okay? a little about Spice Mining. Okay. So now if we talk to this guy. We're doing again, spice mining. Let me show you the So he's got 2,080 men. His motivation is 26%, and they are novices in spice. So unlike the first troop that we got, which were trial on trial, these guys are novices. So they actually know a little bit about spice. Let me show you what our production level. Their production will be two kilograms per hour. Very near. Now, <clears throat> when they say this, Harkonnens are very near. That means that there is a Harkonnen palace just like probably either to the north northwest or northeast of their um uh of their siege okay now what do i mean by that well let me take a look at the quick map here real quick okay if i if i kind of go up here their palace is probably up in here somewhere okay but it's near enough that you know these <laughs> these guys are like uh whoa dude this is not cool And now, here's Duncan Idaho. I'm Duncan Idaho. The Duke asked me to supervise the production of spice. And fortunately, Duncan doesn't really do much in this game. 
Um, he mostly just kind of stands there and tells you what your spice well, production is. Well, for the moment, I haven't much to do. I hope that we'll be able to extract large quantities of spice very soon. I mean, for a swordmaster of Guinness, I feel kind of sorry for him. If you really want to know about the properties of spice, ask your mother, Jessica. We'll ask her in a second. Here are our current stocks of spice. Okay, so we have 20 kilograms of spice. Do remember that spice is by far the most valuable substance in the whole universe. And that it can only be found here on Dune. Okay. The spice is mined from the sand of Dune. The spice prolongs life and extends consciousness. It's used by the guild navigators to travel through space. I'll explain that here in a second. I wonder what the proximity of so much spice will do to you, Paul. The Freemen have a special garment which they call a still suit. Wearing this, they can stay in the desert without losing body fluid. It would be advantageous for us to have some of these still suits. I want you and Gurney to go and find some of these suits for us. And remember, avoid wandering in the desert. You won't go very far without a still suit. Oh yes, still suits. Let me remember. That's it. The Freeman in the siege where we met told me about a still suit maker. Did you notice? All the Freeman we meet have blue eyes. Totally blue. No whites in them. It's linked to saturation of the blood with spice. The Freeman seem to be organized into tribes or troops. Okay. So outside we grab an orny and he said where we met so that means Carthag Tuic because that's where we met Green Halleck when we first arrived I thought you looked interested in my still suit yes I know a still suit maker you will find him if you fly eastward in your orny it's not very far, but be sure to fly with some. Sieges are well hidden and not easy to find. We are doing spice mining. Here are the characteristics of... Have a look at our spice production. Okay. Since we started, we've extracted 30 kilograms of spice and averaging 3 kilograms per hour. Right now, we're doing 3 kilograms per hour. It's a new job for us. There is a siege not far from here, eastward. And that's another thing. If there's a siege in the area... Um, if you come and talk to these guys, they'll actually tell you. They'll say, oh, there's a siege from, not far from here, and then you can go find it, okay? And they'll kind of give you a direction. And so basically what you do is you just kind of point on the map where you want to where you want to fly. And you just click, and then you take off. So, how the guild flies through space is they don't actually fly technically. The Highliners are literally just big cargo ships that use a combination of Holtzman generators and navigators to be able to fold space. Because what is the most efficient way between two points? Most people would say a straight line. But in reality you if you fold space there's a, and you open like a little hole, you can travel to another location without moving. Okay? And so, the interesting thing about the guild is that they use their, um, they use their different people to go it and do things. It looks like a siege there on the left. Okay. And if we just go towards this place, if you watch the animation play out instead of skipping to the destination, what will end up happening is you will actually land. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Yep. There you go. <laughs> okay. 
Now, if we walk forward, there's a guy standing up over here. Welcome to our siege, Paul Atreides. Now, if you if you immediately yell at him to work for you, wait, he goes, "Wait, wait, I haven't, I haven't finished. finished yet." So, you want to know about the principles of our still suits? Love it. It's good that you're so keen to learn our ways. A still suit is basically a high efficiency filter. Perspiration passes through the first layer and is gathered in the second. Salt is separated and the reclaimed water circulates to catch pockets from which you can drink through a tube at your neck. Breathing and walking provide the pumping action. Here are some still suits for both of you and I'll send some to your palace as well. I know of two more sieges in the vicinity whose leaders would be more than interested in meeting you, Paul Atreides. Travel north and east from here. We've heard of you. You are the son of the Atreides Duke, and of Jessica, the... Could he be the one? Yes, I agree to let my troops work. Okay. Now my troop is awaiting your so. orders. We I've haven't specialized in spice, he says. Around. I've seen a spice harvester isn't around, and there isn't it. anyone using it. it would be nice to have so we go to modify equipment, and we click on the uh, thing. Now, um, if you click on the ornithopter, um, you lose the ability to travel. I'm sure so we'll don't do that. With this okay. We're doing spice mining. May I show you the characteristics? He has 1,740 men. Motivation is 30 percent. They are on Let trial spice. Let me show you what we've done in spice mining. And they're going to. They've already extracted three kilograms of spice on an average of three kilograms per hour. Right now, they're doing 15 kilograms. It's a an new hour. job for us. We and now, if you try to go forward. No, no, wait. We'd rather you didn't visit our siege. There's nothing here for you to see. Yeah. So we can't go back there just yet. But we will in a little while, okay? Um, <clears throat> Alright, so now we've opened two. There's Carthag Tabber and there's Tuano Tuek. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh! Siege Tabber! Isn't that where, uh... Isn't that where, uh... Um, Stilgar is? Eh, no. Okay. We Fremen are the original inhabitants of Dune. We've adapted our way of life to the desert. Uh, yes, I agree to let my troops work. My troop is awaiting your orders. The area has to be prospected for spice before we start. Okay. So, um, if you talk to him, he just tells you that, he just gives you the We've characteristics of his troop. Spice mining. But can't start it right now. Let me show you the statistics. So he has 2,350 men. Motivation is 25 percent. They're on trial. The spice. area has to be prospected for spice before we start mining it. We don't know how to prospect. It's a very peculiar job. So those that needs to be prospected. Select destination. So we'll run to Carthic Tabber. Now, here's the interesting thing. Okay, back to what I was saying about the um, about the the people. Um, basically, the navigators use the spice because it expands their consciousness. They use that spice to see the future, okay? And they use it to see a clear path from their destination, you know, from point A to point B, basically, okay? And so... They kind of have to look at things, and they kind of have to see what they gonna, what they're gonna do. So here is this Paul Atreides we've heard about. Yes, I agree to let my troops work for you. Okay. My troop is awaiting your orders. The area has to be prospected for spice before we start mining. Okay. Talk to him. We've quick. been asked to do spice mining. But can't start it. Have a look at the characteristics. Yes, 1360, of motivation 31, on trial. The area has to be prospected for spice before we start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you remember that Select one, this place, Carthag Timon, where we went and there was a person there, okay, who said, I don't know that you can appreciate our talents right now. Well, 
Guess what? We had heard rumors that you might call on our services. Prospecting for spice is a dangerous and a skillful job. These guys are good. Well, you're talking to the right person. My troop specializes in spice prospecting. I'm sure we're the only Freeman troop who are able to do this. Uh, we had heard rumors that you might... Actually, right. We had heard rumors... Ah, good to see that our knowledge is appreciated. Yes, Paul Atreides, we will work for you. Okay, so now if we... We are awaiting your orders. Select troop occupation we specialize in spice. We are in spice prospecting. Here, I have something you may find interesting. Now, every once in a while, you'll see this little continue here. Okay. Here, take this map of the planet. Now, this is a map that shows spice density, but you can also use it to um, check, like, troop locations. You can update this map as we send back information to you. Now, what we're going to do is, is we're going to move the troop. Where you want me to go we're going to move him to there and to there, and then we select done. Okay. Now, what he's going to do is they're going to walk up here, and they're going to prospect this area up here. Okay? Now, one other thing I forgot to mention. Um, when we were at the thing up here, there was a blue palace up here. That's the Harkonnen Palace. Okay? Look, the steel suits have been stored here. It's rather different here from the sieges we've been to, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. So I must okay. congratulate you on finding this prospecting troop. We're now well on the way, Paul. Here are our current stocks of spice. Okay, so we have 260 kilograms of spice. You can notice that yesterday our spice production was better than the day before. Do remember that spice is by far. Okay. We've got the still suits. Good work, Paul. Don't forget to have a look at the map to see if your troops are working well. Paul, as you know, we haven't been here at the palace long, and this old building may still hold many secrets. Our enemies were here recently, and you've already found some traps. Well, your mother, Jessica, has this special talent for, well, sounding rooms and finding secret doors. Go with her and search the palace. This was something that was mentioned in the book. Remember that now our most important task is to achieve good spice production. Um, um, Paul asks... Um, if it was Jessica or if it was Duke Leto if if he wanted if, he, if they wanted to have Jessica kind of like help out Thufer by sounding out the rooms by seeing if there was anything like any hidden walls or any hidden things and the I think it was Duke Leto shot it down and was like no we don't want to we don't want to impair Thufer's um ability to do his job by, you know, foisting Jessica on him. I wonder what the proximity of so much, Paul. I gave you more than an education. It was more of a kind of special training. I expect that here on this very special planet, you'll discover that you have many special powers. Um, I can't tell you more for the moment, but each time you experience something strange or special, come and tell me. I'll give you an explanation. She's talking about the Bene Gesserit way. Okay, now. Together we can try to explore the palace a little, okay? We both will try to examine the few rooms we can access. Go ahead. I'm following you. Okay. And now if we click on Jessica... I feel nothing particular in this room. Okay. So if we go down to the next one... I feel nothing particular in this... in this room. I feel something here. It's so faint. No, let's continue. Wait. I can feel something. I think there's a hidden door on the left. Yes. Let's have a look. It looks like a 
communication room used to send and receive long distance messages. I'm going to try to open this door on the right. A communication room. Let's all gather here. Jessica really has extraordinary faculties, doesn't she? Yes, yeah, she does. Thank you, Leto. But let me tell you, this is an exhausting exercise. As we are almost all gathered here, I would like to congratulate Paul for what he's done since we arrived here on Doom. He has visited six sieges, and now these troops of Fremen are working for us. That's a good start, isn't it, Jessica? I'm pleased to notice that Paul now has a rising charisma among the Fremen. Paul, I'm very proud of you. All of my hopes are set on you. This is a communication room. When you view a message, a holographic image of the sender is generated in the center. No messages have arrived yet, but I am sure we will soon have one from the Emperor. I'm so tired from having sounded rooms like that. It's emotionally exhausting. So what this we're gonna is do a is, is we're gonna have I'm her stay here. here. Um, and then, um, so this is our, so this is our communications room, and we will receive certain messages at certain times from different people. Now, if we go back down, we will enter the room that we entered from the still suit room. But if we go to the right, we'll end up back in the hallway that's just above the still suit room. Even with the Fremen, we won't get very far in mining spice if we don't have more harvesters. A harvester is a very efficient machine used to mine spice from the ground. You told me you saw one harvester in a siege. Go there with Gurney and see if you can locate some more of them. Here are our current stocks of spice. Yeah, 330 kilograms. You can notice that yesterday our spice production was better than the day before. Do remember that spice... Okay. So, if you remember... Select destination Bono We had, uh... This, this, like, still suit manufacturer guy down over here. Okay. Had a harvester. The harvester. We found it in a siege, northeast. Fly straight from here over the crater center, but don't go beyond the rocky area. We're doing spice mine. Have a look at the character. Spice is harder to mine now. Have a look at our spice production. Okay. When they say that spice is harder to mine, if we go up here and we click see spice density, you can notice that the spice density down here, okay, this is like abundant spice, like so much spice, and then as it goes down, it gets less and less until you have no spice left. Okay? This is troop occupation. Okay? So these are different troop areas. Okay? So up here in Carthag Tabor, we have two troops because we have one troop that's going to be doing spice mining. We have the spice prospector. Over here, we have one troop of Fremen working for us. Here, there's no troops because that's where the spice prospectors were originally. And up here in Carthag Tuic, these guys have you know, their stuff, okay? So, that's what we have, okay? And so what's going to happen is, is that as soon as... So, now you can see that, just in the short time that we were talking, the troop moved from Carthag Tavern over here to Twano Tuic, okay? So now, if we um, click off of the spice density... There's the spice prospectors. Okay. So if we take an ornithopter, and he said, fly straight over the crater center, but don't go beyond the rocky line. So if you look here, there's a crater here. Okay. And this is the rocky line that he was talking about. So if we click on this crater center, okay, we're going to fly out there for a little ways. And once we find that place, that's probably going to be the end of this episode. Okay. gonna take a minute to get there. So. <laughs> so 
so, yeah, I, I know a lot about Dune. I've read the book, like, numerous times, um, and I've seen the 84 movie almost as many times as I've read the book. I've also seen the, uh, um, 2000 miniseries and the 2021 Dune, um, and I did a review on the 2021 Dune. After I get back from my personal trip, um, which I'm taking here in a little while, um, uh, as a filming this, I'll be taking it in about three or four days, um, from, from today. Um, when I get back from my personal trip, I'm actually going to do a, like, Dune retrospective, where I'm gonna talk about the, um, the original 84 Lynch version of Dune, Dune, um, the miniseries, the Children of Dune miniseries, and then the 2021 Dune, and, of course, Dune Part 2. Um, just to kind of, you know, just to kind of show, like, you know, here's, you know, like, here's, you know, some of the different things that people do with this kind of stuff. Okay. There it is. Yay! But as you can see, there are, um... You can see that there are two harvesters here, okay? So, what we do is... Is we take an ornithopter? If we go back here to Carthag Tavern. Okay. And we walk in. We talk We're doing to spice chief. mining. We give some orders to his troop. We're doing spice mining. Okay. If we tell him to go search for equipment, he will go search for equipment. Destination. And if we go down here to Tuano Tuek, we will find. If we talk to this guy. We've been asked to do spice mining, but can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been asked to do spice mining, but can't start it right now. Change trip occupation. Okay. And search for equipment. Okay. Now I need to wait for the prospectors to get here. Show me three sieges where you want me to go next. As soon as we finish prospection here, yeah. we'll so leave for now, this other siege. So as soon as he gets done here, then he's going to go to the next um, place and do that. Okay? So... Let's go back. Let's go back to this. Now I'll show you... This is the Harkonnen Palace, Eric. Okay? And then this is Carthag, which is the Atreides Palace, which is actually backwards. It's actually Arakeen was where um, was where the Atreides were, and um, the uh... here are our current stocks of spice. Cool. You can notice that yesterday our spice production was better. Do remember that spice is. I'm doing my best to help you, Paul, but... Okay, so before we do anything else, I think we'll call that an episode. Um, alright. So, um, smash that like button, hit subscribe, drop a comment below, let me know what you think of this, uh, LP so far. Um, I will be dropping some more lore about, like, Dune and stuff in the coming weeks as I play through this a lot more. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this, um, and like I said, I'm probably not going to be doing one 
the next week or the week after because, like I said, I'm taking a personal trip in a few days. And um, when I get back, um, um, when I get back, we will um, we will be doing some Dune related stuff, and I will also be doing some more of my apologetics. So, as we say, we will see you on the next one.